Hello, my name is Joao Alonso, Product Manager at Boomi. Welcome to this quick demo to showcase our new branch and merge capabilities. In today's ever-evolving digital landscape, having the ability to manage integration processes efficiently without disruption is essential for maintaining agility in your business. Let's dive into how this feature works in enhancing your integration workflows. But first, let's spend a moment to talk about why these features are so important. First, they provide significant flexibility in managing integration processes. This allows your teams to innovate faster by developing and testing modifications in isolated branches. Second, it enables collaboration among team members as different developers can work on their branches independently, reducing any bottlenecks. Last, this feature supports risk mitigation since changes can be tested and verified before merging. It minimizes disruptions to your live integrations with the ability to perform hot fixes. In this demo, we'll go through enabling the branch and merge feature and creating our first branch. So to enable the feature, go ahead and go into settings, account information and setup. Under the account section, navigate to features. And then you'll see the option for branching and merging. Please note that at this time, the option to disable this feature is not available via the UI. Uh, if you wish to disable the feature for whatever reason, please open a support ticket. We will be adding the capability to disable in the near future, uh, but for now, please contact support. So to enable, we'll just go ahead and flip this to on, and then we'll go back to build, where we'll see a new setting available to us. So the first is at the top of the component tree, we'll now see the current branch available to us. Uh, so main, uh, by default, as every anyone that enables this feature will have main associated to their account. You'll also notice on the side navigation bar, uh, some options to execute a merge and also to enter into branch management where you would go into and create any additional branches, modify, delete, etc. So for now, let's go into branch management and go ahead and create our first branch. So we will select the source branch and call this demo branch. One. You can also enter any notes uh, that may be suitable for whatever this branch is. And also you have the ability to make this branch your default branch. What that means is next time you log in, anytime you navigate to build, um, the system will automatically switch you into uh, this branch. So we'll leave that off for now. So go ahead and create this branch. And branch creation is fairly instant. Um, you'll see the new branch created here, status is available. Um, I also have the ability to uh, edit the name if I desire to. I can go ahead and add some notes after the fact, modify existing notes, et cetera. I can also set this as default as a quick action here and also delete the branch. Um, in a later demo, we'll showcase the, the merge flow, uh, but this option here to view merge requests is where you would view any uh, prior or pending uh, merge requests to that destination branch. So if we want to go ahead and switch to this newly created branch, we can simply go into build, and in the current branch chooser, go ahead and click that drop down and select the newly created branch. Uh, it's a quick change, but you'll see that the tree briefly refreshes. And essentially, any component that you previously had access to from main will be available to you uh, to access 
in this newly created branch. Um, obviously, any modifications to that component will only exist um, in the specific branch that you're in. Uh, this does not mean that the system is copying components, et cetera. Uh, this is important, especially as you're always wanting to be mindful of how many connections you might be using. Uh, we're always going to preserve that unique component ID. Um, so any new uh, uh, branch that is created will still reference those pre-existing uh, connections and component IDs. And with that, that concludes this demo.